Hi there and welcome to module 1J of my Python lectures. If you have not enrolled already, please subscribe to the channel and let's get started. So today we're going to talk about the idea of functions, which is essential to all of programming and especially Python is the idea of a function. Now, believe it or not, we have seen functions before. A function is this thing where you call it with these round brackets. This is saying I am invoking or calling or using the function. So there's already this thing defined already. Python said this, that this exists, where if you call print, what it's going to do, and you can have it over, it says it's a built-in function called print, it's going to take in a string. So if we pass it this thing, it's okay. We print a string of A, and that's totally fine. Or what it can actually do is take in an integer, it's going to print that, or it may be even a list. And it is totally happy with all of these things, and way down the road we'll talk about why it's happy with all of those different things. But the idea is this, we have this function thing. So we use round brackets and we pass in what it wants into there. If you just ask what print is, it is a function. We can make our own function. So we do that by saying def or define, we'll call it my print, where it's just my way of printing a function or printing a argument, sorry. Argument is the thing you pass into a function. So when I do print a, I would call the string of a my argument to the function. What I would say here is this is my, and I don't need to call it the same thing, that'll get kind of confusing for now, we'll call this s, where this is what I call my parameter. So we call it an argument when I'm saying, okay, I'm passing you this specific value called a, but this is my parameter of the function is saying we require something called s, or we don't require that it's called s, we require something and it's we're choosing to call it s throughout our function. So I would write here colon and then in the indented, notice that it indents it for us here. Anything indented is what our function is actually going to do. So if we call just print of s for now, what that's gonna do is if we, def if we run this cell, well, that doesn't do anything because it doesn't actually run the stuff that's in here. And I can prove that to you very well by doing this. Pert of s means absolutely nothing to Python unless we define it and we haven't defined it. So if I call pert of, sorry, that's also going to be a problem is that this doesn't exist, but pert of the string of s, it says name pert is not defined. So why was it okay having this? Well, it's because it hasn't run it yet. All we did is say, okay, we're ma making a function, call it my print, and we're making it have a parameter called s. It does this stuff in there. And it knows it does that stuff in there, but it hasn't ran anything yet, so it's not going to find the error. This is an error. We want printfs. So how do we call this function? Well, we call it the same way as we do print of a. We say my print of we'll say hey. It says name print is not defined. That is because I didn't actually run this cell again. So if I run this again, then it will be happy with that, and it's going to print hey. That will do exactly the same thing as print does because all we're doing is asking for this argument and then printing it. Notice that if we don't do anything, if we my print bracket bracket, it says it's required the positional argument s. We did not define it, so it's saying we want s, but we did not define it, so that's an error as well. But if we ask what my print is, that's not an error because my print is a function. It knows that name. All right. So. Now that we've made our own function and we actually made it do something, now we are ready for something a little cooler, which I will cover in the next module. So I will see you then.